Hello everyone, welcome to this short tutorial in which I am going to show you how to manage your rooms inside a green light interface of BigBlueButton. So this is the first screen you are going to see after you log into our system. And yes, this is the overview of your rooms. So right now I have the possibility to invite people to my sessions, so basically sending them the link, which I can do here at the middle of the screen. And I can start the sessions if I wish. So this button is going to take me to my big blue button meeting room and the session is going to start. If I wish, I can change the rooms. Right now, the room that is highlighted and I can change settings of this room is Martin's room. But if I wish, I can also go to NATO Deep ADL classroom. And as you can see, I have also room recordings as well. And overall, this is the place where you can change settings. When you click in on settings here, you will have two options. Well, actually three, because you can also delete the room. You can go into room settings and change a couple of things. So first of all, you can generate an optional access code. So people will need to have this code to access your room. If you wish, you can set the option to mute users when they join. So by default, they will have the microphones disabled, basically, they will be on mute. You can require moderator approval before joining. And this is just for you to be aware who's joining the room and you basically let people in. You can allow any user to start the meeting. So it means that you don't need to even click the start button to start the session. Anyone that is going to appear is going to start the meeting so people can talk to each other and all users join as moderators, which will mean that, well, you don't need to set people rights as moderators. And it, of course, it all depends on you and you can change the settings at any time, actually. Okay, but let's say that you wish to create another room. You can do it right here. You click create a room. You can have a name of the room and you click create room. If you think that this room is not used anymore, you are not going to use it at all, you can click here and you can click delete. And you need to be sure that you do it. If you wish to see all of your recordings, you need to click over here. And with the recordings, well, you can access them and you can uh, send the link to people. You can even change visibility, public or unlisted. And if you wish, you can email it to yourself or delete. Okay, so that's pretty much it regarding this functionality. Thank you.